Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to your channel, please subscribe it on because this channel is fully focused on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings. You'll get all the necessary data and details over each and every event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about that how you can beat out a level 30 of the Dark Knight cast with your castle all alone guys. Yes, it is a level 5 castle out here. I have taken this castle just that you can understand that you can also defeat the level 30 of, of the night boss all alone guys. So basically this castle is having an uh, average attribute out here for a P5 castle. It is uh, having 700% uh, of attack, around 450% of defense and around 200% of the HP guys so that's all about that particular stats of this particular castle apart from this there's much more thing that you have to learn out in this video so let's begin the video without wasting our time guys so first thing is the troops guys when we talk about troops troops plays a very important role for the defense we know that infantry is best for the defending purpose so I must recommend you you should train a lot of the T11 and T10 in your castle for the defending purpose guys because they are going to play a very important role in the defending on so I must recommend you, you should have at least of the 1 million of the T11 and try to gain out around 1.5 to 2 million of the T10 guys. They are only gonna help you for the defending of everything, whether it is a normal rally or this particular event guys. They are going to play a very important role for that particular purpose guys. Apart from this, if you talk about the damage, which is going to give you the damage to the particular Dark Knight. For that one you need to train out T10 or T8 of the cavalry out here. You can go with that one if you have lower level castle. But if you have a high level castle you can have to go with the T11 of the cavalry and T10 of the cavalry guys. You can trust these both troops. They are best for the attacking purpose and they are going to give you a lot of damage to the dark knight. And give you a lot of the survival points for sure guys. So these are the two troops that you have to keep in castle and apart from that you can also trust out archers when we talk about the archers uh, you i must recommend you have to go with the t12 and t10 of the archers because t11 archer is a defensive troop so it won't give the damage to the opponent dark knight guys so for that purpose you have to go with the t12 if you are not capable of getting out t12 you can trust out t10 and t8 of the archers for sure guys so that's all about the attacking troops that is all about the troops apart from this the second main thing is that you have to put out the best of the array on this particular purpose guys for the defending purpose when we talk about the array you have to keep out the best of the array in this particular purpose which is having attributes focused on the defensive thing that is going to support out some of the infantry and the basic other troops attack and defense thing so that's why i'm using my array page 2 because it is based on the defensive purpose and it is quite very much useful guys and apart from that when we come to the next thing you have to keep on the wall the best of the best hero that you are having on because that particular hero is going to save your ass whenever you are going to hit by the dark knight guys apart from that when we come to the dragon word guys you have to keep in mind that you have to use one of the defensive dragon word means that particular dragon word which is going to possess how some of the skills that is being related to the defensive damage and defensive damage taken reduction so you have to use that kind of array for the defending purpose at that particular point because only the defensive thing works whenever you are going to get any of the attack on your castle the defensive thing is being activated on the offensive damage don't, doesn't help you at that particular scenario guys apart from this uh, there is one more thing that is plays a very important role is the dragon guys you have to garrison out the defensive dragon for the defending purpose means it is just like the whole scenario will be just like defending a rally of the opponent. The same configuration you have to go for the Dark Knight guys. Because Dark Knight also possess a huge number of troops that is going to hit you with a different level of troop which is powerful and trained that is made just for beating you down and burn your castle into fumes out there. So for that purpose I'm using Red Dragon. Why I'm using Red Dragon because it is possessing some of the defensive skills that is being possessed on for the defending on. And the skill is having defensive damage, defensive damage taken reduction, infantry HP, hospital capacity and something like that. So that's why I'm trusting on Red Dragon. It is best for the defending purpose. So this is about the whole of the setup out here. Apart from this guys, 
वॉट एवर थिंग्स वेदर देर इज नथिंग लाइक द कैस्टल लेवल और द अमाउंट ऑफ पावर यू आर हैविंग और फॉर द डिफेंडिंग द थिंग दैट वर्कस आउट हेयर इज द स्ट्रैटेजी वॉट एवर द ट्रुप्स यू आर यूजिंग फॉर द डिफेंडिंग वॉट एवर द हीरो यू आर यूजिंग ऑन वॉट आर द ड्रैगन वर्ड वॉट इज द ड्रैगन यू आर यूजिंग ऑन ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्कस आउट कम्प्लीटली इन अ पैटर्न टू मेक अ पर्टिकुलर सक्सेसफुल डिफेंस सो आई मस्ट रिकमेंड यू यू शुड हैव टू फॉलो दीज थिंग्स सो दैट यू कैन able to defeat out level 30 so when we come to why about my particular report out here i have defeated level 30 all alone and the my particular kill ratio of level 30 is 55.3 percent guys so it is all just you can see around 16 million of soldier of level 30 hit my castle and successfully defended out with the average below average stats of a p5 guys so that's all about today's video guys i hope that you guys like the video content and if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure and guys keep in mind that no one is weak in this particular thing all of the thing that works in each and every event is the strategy if you work with the correct strategy you will able to defeat everything and you will gain everything that is being possible for you to gain up so that's all about today's video guys i will be back with another video if you have any of the queries regarding this video or any other video please come in the comment section and you can also suggest some of the topic for the next video topic and thanks for watching keep going with gamers forum